How's it going? There's fine. This is my dog. You might have seen her in the past as a co-star in my videos. Today, she's the star. Now, this is her perch. In her my last apartment, this was in my room. In my new apartment, this apartment, she has prime real estate in this living room. Only issue is I don't have front row seats to dog entertainment. So how do we fix that? I could just get a dog cam, but that's boring and it's on all the time. We don't want that. So I think we can design a better idea. It's simple. Doggo jumps on bed. Bed, hidden pressure sensor, activates camera. Camera streams to Twitch, which generates Doggo money. Doggo can now buy premium dog toys while I sit in my corner staring at my precious Boo. This is my dog Boo, and this is my dog Spot. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take the brain out of one of you to power this build. I'm suggesting a simple fight to the death. So here you go, you guys can just settle this and then whoever survives will take the brain out of the other one. What do you think? Fight. This is a pressure mat alarm. <coughs> this is the pressure mat. Think of it as a simple switch. This paired with the Raspberry Pi that we took out of spot and the Pi camera module will be a perfect addition to what we need to get this whole streaming process set up. Uh, now all we need is software to control all this. Remember people, just because you're testing the hardware doesn't mean you don't have to have fun with it. See, look. Bonk. 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 Hit <laughs> Here I have the Raspberry Pi all set up. I'll have a GitHub link so that you can go through all of the what OS and how everything was installed and set up. But I have this simple Python script, which is what we're going to run. This will be running in the background constantly, checking for the pressure sensor, checking to see if Doggo is still on there, and whether or not to stop the stream or end the stream based off if it's just a, a little movement in the bed or if she's off completely. OBS Studio was able to be downloaded on the Raspberry Pi through the Pi apps. And with that, it's an all-encompass tool that allows me to do a couple things. I won't have a microphone, so I want some sort of background music simply set up there in sources. And the I want an intro to humanize the, the webcast so it's not just like, boom, here's a video of my dog. I know, I personally think that's enough. Some people might not. And of course we have the camera. Oh, hello there. Um, so that we can do that. But that's just, that's just basic streaming. And so with all of this set up, uh, I plan on plugging this in. It should automatically run when I boot my Raspberry Pi. And with all of that, we should test this out. Now, before I think we can frame this area up, I think we need to pizzazz it, you know, make it look like a stream or a gamer setup. It needs LEDs. Boom, baby, talk about a vibe. LEDs, balloon doggy. Now it's only missing the real doggy. Let's live stream this bad boy. I mean, you're looking good in this photo. Not as good as me. Uh, I mean, but that, but I'm not the, I'm not the star of the show here. You are. So, yeah. Let's see here. We got uh, three year old Australian cat. Single. Single. Three year old Australian cattle dog. With the passion for. Definitely naps. So your naps, poops, walks. I think that would draw in a crowd. A piece? Nope, that. A piece? Lay down. Good. Let's get you all framed up now, bub. So here we are. Insane rate my setup here. Doggo. LEDs. Raspberry Pi. Now, it's time to tune into my favorite stream. Yo, why does dog want my popcorn? Uh, 
yeah, so subscribe to my dog, Boo, Boo Dog Streamer on Twitch, so that she can pay the bills. And then next to that clicker in the description will be the subscribe button. Subscribe to me so I can pay the bills.